How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals? This is Advanced Warrior here, and welcome back to part three of Pokemon Platinum. I've been getting a good string of these videos uh, coming out lately, and it's kind of nice that I'm able to get a little more deeper into this game. And of course, like I said, uh, most of my Pokemon parts are going to be featuring a friend of mine. And today I have someone I've been good friends with for a few years now, and we have a couple of, of uh, video games that we both commonly like. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself, Tyler? Yeah, how's it going? My name's Tyler. Uh, I've been a friend with uh, Advance here for, it's been what, three years now or something like that? Uh, probably three years. I think I got a... Uh, yeah, we yeah we both uh, used to work at the same job, and then uh, we haven't seen each other since, well, except for, uh, for our Comic-Con, but... Uh, yeah, we've still yeah. been connecting and talking about Fire Emblem and now Pokemon, I guess. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, it's very surprising to me to hear that this is Zach's first game. <laughs> uh, yeah, and many others too, Tyler. Many others too. So, um, <clears throat> as I'm going to be working my way up uh, to the town, uh, what is your Pokemon history? Well, my journey began... Uh... Not with the original red, uh, blue, yellow generation, unfortunately, but I began with Gen 2 Gold, Silver, Crystal back on the Game Boy Color. All right. Uh, and you, how old were you when you started? <sighs> I'm trying to remember the exact Oh, cricket time. Yeah, probably around. I forget the localized dates exactly off the top of my head, to be honest. Yeah. Um, oh. But yeah, I was still relatively young. All right. All right. Yeah. A uh, little uh, closer to your mic uh, for next time. Just at start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're getting really quiet near the end for some reason. Uh, my bad. I, I moved around a little bit. My mic's a little, a little bit. Yeah, we're using a, uh, we're using a different method of... Uh, voice chat because of uh, some technical issues that's been going on, but uh, I am not afraid to adjust um, adjust everything mid-recording just to get things through. Uh, Alright, so almost made it out of this grass patch, but it looks like we have a cricket tot, which I have yet to face. I faced like three other Pokemon so far. This one's a little more deceptive than the other uh, couple you encountered. Well, okay, you're lucky you could growl. It had a little bit of a nasty hit and move in its arsenal, but you got lucky it had to move. Yeah, okay. Uh, do you know if uh, it's worth to use growl at least once to lower its own attacks? Uh, this thing actually doesn't have any attack in its level 3, so growl is not worth your time right now. Gotcha. <laughs> Clearly wasn't in that first fight. <laughs> Learned the hard way. <laughs> a little bit. I don't know if you caught on, but uh, my Pokemon's name is uh, Chisel. Yeah, I saw. I watched. Uh, I watched part two uh, yesterday or earlier today when you uploaded it. Yep. To, uh, yeah. Announce your nickname reasoning. What was that? When you announced your nickname reasoning, it sounds like uh, like chill. <laughs> chill. Oh, bide. Yes. So, Bide is a very uh, interesting move, but realistically, in the, in the current situation of the battle, you're in no danger, so you don't have to panic for once. Okay. Is this uh, a Pokemon that benefits in, like, longer battles? Uh, Krikatot specifically, I would not say so. Um, there's a bit of a recurring theme in these games where early game bug type Pokemon are a bit weak. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, Bide, I, I tell you it's a bit of a nasty move because basically if it were to use Bide on the first turn and you don't wipe it out before it does a, takes a 
two turn charge, it then retaliates the damage you dealt at double. Oh wow. Yeah, so think of it like a really strong like Smash Bros counter. Oh, okay. Alright. Um thought I'd just see some houses here. Pokemon grow steadily stronger from battling against other Pokemon. At first you should take it easy though. Heal your Pokemon regularly at Pokemon centers while you're leveling them up. A good trainer is one that takes care not to let the Pokemon faint from losing HP, obviously. So, uh, am I gonna have to capture my second Pokemon? Or, uh, is the game gonna be like, here's another one for tutorial's sake? Okay. I believe after you're done visiting this town, once you try to proceed north, it throws you in an edgy tutorial. Okay. Yeah, last last part I didn't get to uh, explore this town, and uh, I've been getting a lot of word that I should be hearing a lot of people. Um, I should be talking to a lot of people to like progress through parts and stuff. Yeah, especially this being your first experience, a lot of the early game talents they'll give you a lot of, you know, tutorial type advice of, you know, hey, do this, hey, do that, just for, you know, anyone, for whatever generation they might start with, you know, they don't want to just throw you into, hey, let me just start yeeting random battles without any potential tips beforehand and just wipe the floor with you. <laughs> yeah. You're not that merciless. <laughs> I've been, I've been told, uh, every, uh, Every single Pokemon game will give you the same tutorial. Uh, pretty much, at least as far as the main games go. Um, there is, I would say, a bit of a not quite mainline game that they don't quite give you a tutorial. Uh, but those are the GameCube games. And, uh... Let's just say you're going to want to get some experience and a fuse on your belt before you attempt those, because those sometimes even wipe the floor with me. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so we've got Don. Do you want to do any voice acting tonight, Tyler? Uh, not particularly. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, <laughs> I'll, spare, I'll spare you the trouble. I mean... I, I, I mean, I, I could do a, uh... I could do a... A rip off of the old uh, Mecha Bismix where they uh, oh, voice over Liar and Radiant Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever saw that content, I could turn Dawn into, uh, I can, into a Liar 2.0. I can kind of see that. Uh, let's hear your female. Oh, that's right impression. A legitimate one or a liar one? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, buddy. <clears throat> Oh, god damn it. God damn it, Tyler. Oh, that's right. Advance. What happens when you want to catch a Pokemon? <laughs> I'll demonstrate how to catch Pokemon, so just watch me, okay? Don Stones decided to drop a couple minutes before we arrived. Oh, we're here already. It's funny you should mention that. What are you trying to... ...item in the game called the Dog Stone. Oh, wow! Oh, this is her Pokemon. Okay. Yep. The catching tutorial usually has whoever's teaching you have their own Pokemon. So okay. Go through the process. All right. So I guess uh, get to take a little break in this battle, huh? Yep. Oh, okay. It's... HP is down. It's ready for a Pokeball. Pokeballs. Twenty of them. Yeah, she's she got a bit of a stockpile. Oh wow. Unlike me. Although I think my although I think my Piplup is a higher level than her Chimchar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're what, six or seven, right? Seven now. probably. I yeah, seven. I didn't get to eight yet. Bidoof. Well, trade off is uh, Chimchar is a bit more of an offensive Pokemon. Okay. Can you <laughs> Don't say giggle, actually giggle, dude. <laughs> 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 Oh dear. <laughs> Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It might be a little better to 
to not lower your voice, Don, but okay. <laughs> Perhaps I'll use my deep voice for uh, whenever uh, you speak to Professor Rowan again. Uh, will, will we get there? I mean, you could just walk back to his lab, but I don't know if there's anything, anything to say at this point. Gotcha. Alright, watch me walk up to a Pokemon in 3, 2, 1. Damn it. 3, 2, 1. Oh, wow. What do we got here? Uh, Bidoof. Bidoof or Bidoof? Uh, I think it's actually Bidoof. Bidoof, okay. I never actually really watched the show for, uh, Generation 4, so I'm not sure the exact pronunciation. Alright. Okay. I'm pretty sure I've heard all sorts of different pronunciations for it. Is it worth the capture? I mean, for your first experience, I'd say just try catching anything and see if it's worth it. I know a lot of veteran players like myself, we, uh relegate Pokemon like Bidoof to what is called the HM Slayer. Oh shoot! I thought it had like a thought it had like a chip of or something. You were, you are not playing what we call uh, Nuzlocke rules. So oh yeah, Nuzlocke. Is that like the equivalent to Fire Emblem Iron Man's? Uh, to some degree. But... Ah, random encounter. All right, does this boy have deep deep voices too? Iron Balls. <laughs> if you're a Pokemon well, trainer, and so am I. Our eyes meet, so we must battle. No, it fucking didn't. Can I capture you? Is this normal? Yes, yes, the battles are normal. Oh, another bird! I want to capture it. I don't think I can, though. You cannot capture another trainer's Pokemon. Nope, that would make you a criminal. <laughs> Wait, I missed? Oh, no. Oh, he missed. Okay. Oh, lucky me. Now, uh, is this one kind of offensive? Who, Starly? Yeah. Yes, Starly is, uh, what I call a very unique take on the, uh, early game, like, flying type Pokemon you catch. Most of them are, uh, average at best. And then Gen 4 was like, let's just crank the notch up really far and see what <laughs> we create. So, uh, is it worth using Growl? I would see how much damage it's gonna do first. I predict it'll probably do about three damage per hit, maybe four. So okay. you should be able to potentially wipe it through a battle with attrition at this point. Alright. But if he if he gets to the point where he's like let's see what damage roll is. Alright, four. I probably could beat it if I just keep pounding it. Probably, yes, especially because pound is a one hundred accurate. Oh god. Did I just do more damage? This game. this game actually has variant damage rolls. One it might roll one number the first time, but there's a little bit of a skew in the damage range. Hmm. So while an attack may what they say call roll low one time, it looks like it might not perform a uh, two hit KO. The next time it might roll a little bit higher, in which point it will perform that extra little bit of damage you need to clean the two hit KO something. Hmm. All right. So there's there's many more variables in Pokemon than there are in something like Fire Emblem. Ah, uh, I see. I learned Bubble? Yes. <clears throat> As you level up, you will learn new moves. Hey, my first skill. Hey, I got double the money that I lost from Owain. <laughs> yep, and another fun thing is trainer Pokemon uh, gives you more experience, too. Okay. Uh... Next. I would recommend, since you're early in the game, I would just go back to the previous town and get some free heal at the Pokemon Center as opposed to burning items. Okay. Summary. Uh, bubble. A spray of countless bubbles is jetted at the foe. It may also lower the target speed stat. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, I don't remember if any of your other... Uh, 
co-commentators also mentioned, have, have they ever mentioned something called the stab bonus in this, these games? Stab bonus? Yes. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so it's an acronym people use in Pokemon for what's called same type attack bonus. Basically, what it means is if you use a move that has the same type as the Pokemon using it, mm -hmm. you do an extra 50% uh, damage. Oh, okay. Um, moves, uh, is there a chance I'll run into something and then I'll just have to run? Potentially, yes. There's always a chance you run into a grass. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> most of the stuff on this route is level, like, two through four, so you can probably two-shot most. If this doesn't die in two shots, I'm running. You could just try to run right now if you want. It doesn't really matter. I mean, All right, I guess I'll just run then. Also safest option, especially because Beedoof isn't really fast either. All right, well, we got away safely. Don't do it again. Um, I would have been so mad if I hit the edge of that uh, hit the edge of that uh grass, and then it's just like another battle. But this time you can't escape it. <laughs> yeah, that does happen from time to time. Oh uh, man. You'll eventually come across an item that you can use to just negate encounters if you don't want to deal with them. Okay. Nice. Yep. And Chisel is healthy again. Yes. There is a, a very nice thing they started implementing from this generation onward, uh, for convenience sake, where the items you can get in the shop, which is that uh, blue building there, the blue roof one, uh -huh. uh, the items available are, for the most part, consistent all the way across. The entire region based on the number of gym badges you have. Okay. Whereas in older games, certain uh, shops in the early game only had this stock, and then the late game only had this stock. So you have to, you know, constantly fly around and you look for specific items. Alright. Should I have bought some items uh, before I went up here? Um, that's just been counter check your. I have not. Should I have? Um, check your bag. I forget if the game defaults you with a potion or if it's just the one the guy gives you on the first route. You only have the one. Of, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go back and buy like a couple potions just to be safe. All right. I guess we're going back to uh, the Pokemon Center again. Uh, uh, after after this after I do a little bit of healing because I took some damage. Okay. I'm pretty sure when I get more Pokemon, this will become m much less frequent. But and then when I get the chance, it's just a huge, uh, huge value. I mean, it depends on levels of things you catch. Because if you catch stuff at lower levels, you have to um, what they call like share the EXP. So uh, okay. To try to bring them up to level, think of it as you know, uh, softening up. Uh, Enemies with Marcus's Silver Lance, so uh, <laughs> reliable Elliewood and Roy can finish off those mighty brigand enemies. <laughs> hey, Except you wanna you wanna have Elliewood and Roy do the chip damage first, and then send Marcus in for the finishing blow? Because in this game, as long as you win, the EXP is distributed evenly. <laughs> didn't uh, didn't IGN try to tell people to do specifically specifically that in Awakening? I heard I heard IGN say something like use Robin or Crom to weaken a unit, and then let him f and then let Frederick finish him off. That's like, no. I can't say for certain to be honest, but uh, that does admittedly sound like an IGN thing to say. <laughs> All right, uh, how many did you say? Three or five? Personally, because I am OCD about my bag's inventory, I always keep my stuff in increments of five, but do whatever you feel. Okay. A spray type medicine eliminates paralysis? Should I buy like three of these and then may maybe one of each? Um, so after you clear Route 202 uh, or whatever, right up above there, that northern route, Mm -hmm. There's nothing on that route that can inflict poison or paralysis, so you don't have to worry about them right now. Alrighty. I would say wait for the next city, and then you can worry about those. Alright. 
after that route, then you run another ch uh, couple Pokemon that have a slight chance of inflicting those mo uh, status effects on you. Gotcha. I remember, at least Poison, I can't remember if anything has Paralysis right away. Alright, Tyler, um, both of us are familiar with the Weapon Triangle from Fire Emblem. Does this have... I was told Pokemon has a smorgasbord of... Yes. Uh. So, um, I am personally a big fan of water type Pokemon because they only have two main weaknesses that are, as, as they call, super effective against you in electric and grass type attacks, which is why your starter has the grass type starter because they're supposed to challenge you. Or your rival, I mean. Yeah, you gotcha. Yeah, your rival, uh, Owain, has the turquoise line. Because he's supposed to be the most challenging option against you. Okay. Uh, this person want to fight me? I'm not making eye contact with you. I said I'm not making eye contact with you. See, uh, the way these games work is if you walk into line of sight, they will uh, engage you. Freaking bastards. Some trainers um, have a uh, limited range where if you're really far out, they won't trigger. That would make sense. But some of them, you know, there's no getting around it because there's only one space gap between where you and them are. Uh, like that. All right. Oh, this uh, this chisel, this uh, Bidoof is a little uh, a little more tanky than the uh, than the rest. Yep, that's all the joy of them leveling up. Mhm. Mm so far, a simple uh, battle, simple battle. Yeah, a lot of the early game battles are going to be very simple, unless you're playing uh, Gen Five. Gen Five wants you to put it to the meat grinder as fast as you can. <laughs> oh, speaking of meat grinders. I've been told by a couple people this is like one of the harder Pokemons, and I should not have started with this. I am one of the people who says this is one of the harder Pokemon games. Uh, Generation 4 has, to my knowledge, still considered the most difficult champion in the series. Hmm. Unless uh, the Gen 8 champion has finally overturned that title. Oh god, I'm about to get PTSD from walking through tall grass. If I catch something that looks a little more unique. I might go for a Pokeball. I mean, each route only has specific encounters you can uh, spawn. Okay. So this Bidu, for example, has a chance it can take possibly one more pound and then it'll be in a low enough HP range you might be able to snag with a ball if you want to go for it. Uh, right now I'm not really feeling like I want to get a Bidu. Uh, wait till I, I think I guess I'll see, wait and see for something that will... Uh, Surprise me to say, like something that feels strong. Fair enough. All right. I will, I will recommend as a veteran to try to acquire a Starly. Uh, if not before you get your first badge, I'd highly recommend you pull the second badge. Was it that pigeon Pokemon that we saw uh, earlier? Bird, yep. it, yeah, I, I would have captured it if uh, it was a random encounter. Uh, they're pretty common. They're uh, they're in a lot of the surrounding areas. Have a very high chance to see gotcha. All right, so far so good. Yep. Uh, good thing I bought some potions. Good thing I bought some potions, or else I feel like it'd be an endless repeating cycle had I done so. Yeah, you can usually get through this route on on average about one potion. I'd recommend to heal before you do that. Uh, I, I guess we'll just see what happens during battle. <laughs> yeah, you can use items in battle. I mean, yeah. like you're not playing by any challenge rules. So Young, Youngster Logan, Burmy. That's a level 5. I think I'm a little terrified. Right uh, am I fucked? If you're that worried, just go to your bag and use a potion. Yeah, I guess I will. Uh... Oh, HP, PP, Restore. Okay. Use. Use on my chisel. I guess I'm so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only two damage? Jesus Christ. Well, it depends. If I do, like, less damage, then... Oh, well, yeah, I... Oh, well, I guess I would have used it later anyways. 
All right, so let's see. What does Bubble do again? How do I check? How do I check abilities? Uh, go cancel back out. Click on Pokemon. Pokemon, chisel, check uh, moves. Or check move, yeah. Uh, Bubble. Click it. A spray of countless bubbles is jetted at the foe. It may lower the target's speed stats. Uh, I still don't know how speed is calculated yet, but uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Tackling this a few times. Yeah, what does what does speed do? It just determines who goes first in battle. Honestly, my God, there's no doubling mechanic like fire, which goes whoever's faster moves first, with the exception of what they call priority moves and other special moves. Okay. So basically, uh, as you, so look, when you level up here, look at your stats. Your bottom stat is speed, so you have 13 speed. Okay. So if you have if the thing you're fighting has less than 13 speed, you should attack before it, unless it has a priority move or a special type of move that has uh, a special effect. There's moves called like protect, which will completely nullify an, an attack that has um, extremely high priority. It's it, it, it's faster than almost every move in the game. Is this a bait or is this some or? Some Pokemon only appear in the morning, some only come out at night. I'll keep looking until I've seen them all. Is this Pokeball a bait? Bait is in, like, you think something's gonna pop out of it and attack you? Um, more like I go to it and something's gonna pop out and attack me. Not the Pokeball itself, just in the field. I mean, there's always a chance to encounter it in the grass, but it's a free item. <laughs> okay, I guess. I'll take, I'll take the chance. Another Bidoof. Go, Chisel! One of the joys of these games is how much you can basically just ransack the world with your free stuff. <laughs> oh wow, this is a, uh, not a very offensively strong B-Doof. No, yeah, I don't know the exact damage formula, but basically since you're level 10 and you've been obviously gaining, you know, HP and defense level ups and stuff like that, you're just going to steadily take less and less damage from attacks. Time. I thought I was gonna get a Pokeball. It just gave me a potion. Yeah, it just gives you a uh, Pokeball icon on the field. It can be anything in the item. Boo! Oh. Confused. Conf I mean, you conf will still find Pokeballs, but it's because if that was the point, they'd like, why would they have Pokeball icons in the late game? <laughs> True. I don't know about you, but if I'm about to go and fight the the final areas, I don't want to be getting no regular old Pokeballs at that point. I need some. I need some high end gear. <laughs> oh, all right. Jimba Life City. Is that done again? I'm gonna pair myself. <laughs> Are you catching Pokemon? Um, I think you'd feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more. And capture beat ups? No thanks. You know, like when you need to travel to a faraway place. <laughs> oh, I know. Don't you think it's better to know more about Pokemon? Sure, it is. I know just the place. The library. Come on, don't be shy. Follow me. Oh, this music ain't that half bad. Oh, their game has some pretty good music. That man, what is he doing? Well, I can give this guy the default voice. Um. What? How did you know? How did you unmask me as a member of the international police? Ooh, whoa, 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 hold on a second. What the hell did I do? Huh? What? I'm saying your part and I was just making conversation. Heh, <laughs> do you claim you were only making conversation, do you? Boy, I know better not to believe that. No, no, no. You recognize right away that I was someone extraordinary. Uh, you're just giving away yourself, dude. I think you need to fucking chill. That is why you spoke to me, is it not? Your power of observation is fearsome. Am I gonna have to do- Is there gonna be a damsel in distress really soon or something? Nah, quite okay. admirable you are. This guy's like a meme. <laughs> <laughs> now that my cover has been blown, let me introduce myself. I am Denning. I have a message from Lord Nurgle. <laughs> <laughs> not quite that bad. <laughs> My name? Uh, no. I shall inform you only of my codename. Denning. My codename is Lucker. It is 
what they call, all call me. That is a horrible code name. Yeah. Incidentally, is the saying "Don't be a thief" familiar to you? I'm gonna be honest and say no. Oh, you plan to not know it? How could that be? This is my first Pokemon game. Perhaps your mama has. <laughs> 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 I see why this guy's a meme. Fun fact, I never picked no as an option, so I've never seen that dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, my friends. It is wrong to take what belongs to others. Obviously. Unfortunately, there are apparently those who do not heed those words. Do we have... Oh, is this the whole criminal thing that you were mentioning earlier? In Sinnoh, in fact, there are criminals stealing the Pokemon of others. Ah, yeah. It's all coming full circle. I have, therefore, been on the lookout for a Mrs. Characters arousing my suspicion. Incidentally, you are trainers. Yes, perhaps you can make use of this. Versus recorder. Key items. That versus recorder is a nifty device for recording a match. I obtained it because it's quite popular these days. <laughs> I can imagine his voice getting a little higher when he said that. I've obtained it because it is quite popular these days. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can hear that. <laughs> also, I have a request. If you were to see me again, I ask that you not talk. I am on duty. Are you going to be in uniform or not? Actually, yes, yes. You may speak to me. You must. Okay. Not because I am lonely. Not <laughs> because I'm lonely. You must inform me of any happenings. Well, I took down a couple Beatles in the back if you want to collect their fainted bodies or something. Just like ran face first into the building. <laughs> it's like that ah, shit. Please <laughs> let me ask the police with the fans here to school. I'm not ready. The name says it all. I saw your friend Owen go in earlier. He got his ass kicked. He could still be in there studying. Okay, bye now. Okay, well. I guess we're through here. Uh, I see red roof. I am happy. I, I, I kind of feel like I might have a little OCD too, just because every time my my power my powerpoints or my health is anything below max, I might want to uh, I might want to heal. I only do that in Fire Emblem for staff XP. I mean, you're kind of gonna have to heal here and there, especially early game, given your limited. And my limited one Pokemon. Yeah, hopefully you'll run into that soon. Trainer school, the first step to trainers. Can I just say how beautiful this city is? It is very nice. Yes, yeah, very I, nice. I, I know I said this in the last part, but I'm going to be honest here. I really do feel like I have been missing out all these years. But the Pokemon trailers just like never caught my attention. Ooh, item. Yeah, I just feel like... X attack. Yep. Battle items. Yeah, I just yeah, I feel like all the Pokemon trainers, uh, Pokemon trailers I've been seeing, just never really caught my eye. And then I just saw the recent one. Was it like Pokemon Legends Arceus or something? Yeah, that one's gonna be uh, very different. It looks like. So I'm gonna know maybe gonna maybe a little more like Breath of the Wild, possibly. That's the vibe that I've been uh, hearing. An item that raises a tech stat of a Pokemon in battle. It wears off if the Pokemon is withdrawn. Withdrawn? What do they mean by that? If you were to switch out the Pokemon you use that X attack on for something else in battle, then the effect wears off when they're switched out. Ah, okay. Sounds a little so, weird. Think of it like, uh... Think of it like a Nini's Grace or something from FE7. But it just <laughs> doesn't wear off at the end of the turn. It wears off when you actually leave that battle. Uh, Nini's Grace. <laughs> so so it's like a... Uh, how do I say it? It's like a, a, a stat booster potion in, in Fates. A tonics, Tonics. So it's like Tonics and Fates. After, uh, a yeah. after the next battle, it wears off. 
Yeah, I mean, the X items obviously are off at the end of battle either way, or as soon as you withdraw them. Okay, alright. Is this so, Wayne? Yes. Hey, Advance. Did you come to study too? Went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's the trainer's job to avoid having the precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Advance, what brings you? Huh? You got something for me? I delivered the parcel. So, what is this? Score! It's a town map! Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Advance, you take one. Oh, finally a map! I was kinda hoping to find one. Yep. Hmm. They generally give you them pretty early in the game. I guess, uh, or Burke City. Where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. While I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time, see you around. And of course he's off. So who are you? Alright. <laughs> Alright, uh, this Byleth looking chick. Uh, <laughs> you got something for her? Here's something to believe in. Fuck <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's perfectly fine for trainers and Pokemon to develop their own pace. If there's anything you're not familiar with, you can look it up here. Okay, I guess. Well, I don't feel like talking to all these kids. Am I like, where am I supposed to go now? Like, I guess I'll just uh, go. Two over in the right room there. You can battle them for an item if you want to. Oh, okay, all right. Well, let's get something going then. All right, let's see here. Doing it is the best way. <laughs> I read that out of context. Oh no! <laughs> oh. The child game advance. I am. I am very aware. I am very aware. I joined us. I think I joined a server a while ago, and they said something about uh, bio FYI. Uh, Pokemon trainers are considered to be 10, so no fan art of those. Alright. Fuck, it's a Starly. You were, uh, you, you raid a, a, a rocket base instead of the bad guys, naturally. And, uh,. One of the trainers is like, you don't have the balls to fight me. Or <laughs> yeah, that was that was pretty amusing. Oh Obviously, God. when I was like a ten-year-old kid, I was like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. When I when I, oh critical. Hit. When I was ten years old, I was more innocent. We were all were supposedly. Uh, at the age of ten. 120 bucks? Thank you, good sir. You just stole a lot of that kid's lunch money. <laughs> I mean, more than lunch money. The hell is he going with 120 bucks? And you said the second one I can battle. I just became friends with my Pokemon. Okay. There we go. Let's battle. Dun, 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 dun. All right, Christine, what do you got? I'm, f I'm tired of fighting these things, Tyler. Uh, at least this one's level six, so it might pose it. Never mind. You're an early game. It's, it's a lot of and Starly stuff. I was hoping it posed a little bit more of a challenge. I mean, a Wayne will always pose a challenge whenever you encounter him. Ah, fucking Turtwig. Yep. Seventy-three. Very annoying, but in my opinion, it'd be worth the Gen Four starters. That is a lot of uh. Holy crap, speed defense. That went through the roof. Special, oh, special SP, defense. SP is special, so gotcha. think of it like uh, magic and resistance. Uh, like, gotcha. I like to study a lot. I thought I could win. <laughs> Stole your lunch money too, kid! I mean, that we would do pretty good. I'm completely impressed by how tough you are. Yeah, I knocked out a couple of the same things a while ago. Wait, what did she say? Talk to a nice friend, get an item? Talk to the people who laugh at you. Starting every day, but we're no mess for you at all. Okay, more potions. Nice. I could have 
swear it was a different item. Maybe it was a different item than the Diamond and Pearl. They, they did change a lot of stuff between Diamond and Pearl and then uh, Platinum version. Alright, possibly. Alright, um... So, uh, I got the... Do I have a map in my bag? Yep, it's in your key item. It's just the farthest right, uh, pocket. Close bag. Scroll over the right one more time. Yep, there we go. Town map. Uh, use? Yep. Okay, so we got... We could go left, or... Oh, there's that lake that, uh, Owain was talking about earlier. Yep. And, uh, d is it possible for it to tell me where I'm supposed to go? It doesn't tell you directly, but from what Owain told you, Orbo City is the first gen. So Orbo City, okay. I gotta start paying attention a lot more. Alright. So, well, yeah. I learned that the game, uh, puts, uh, some progress based obstacles. Okay, all right. Like like uh, old Legend of Zelda games. Something like that. Like yeah, like it. Oh wait, I forgot. You're not a Minish Cap guy. Uh, uh, a Zelda guy. Yeah, yeah. In Minish Cap, you can't go through other places unless you beat where you're supposed to beat. Yeah, they kind of have that implemented in the Pokemon games with uh. <clears throat> if you've ever seen the infamous memes about the tree blocking the road, where you need to cut Pokemon. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they, they have the trees, they have rocks, things like that. So you have to have the required, uh, what they call HM to move past those. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. You call yourself Pokemon Trainer, and yet you have no Poke Etch? Poke Etch? That's how it's pronounced. I don't know, that's what I always called it. That is Pokemon Watch or Poke Etch for short. Oh my, you are a rare case indeed. I am about to be 22 years old, and I have yet to play a Pokemon game. Is that rare enough? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, like, <laughs> as rare as it gets. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, my birthday is 69. Figure out what that means. Uh, your mic screwed up, buddy? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I was pausing and thinking for a second. <laughs> You see, I invented and now manufacture poke edges. Not only that, I'm now conducting this poke edge promotional campaign. Whatever you say, Steve Jobs. <laughs> All you have to do is find the three clowns in Jubilife City. What three clowns? Fun fact, he is, fun fact, he is not one of them. <laughs> <laughs> if you can find them, I will gift you with a Pokéx. Now, do they look like clowns? <laughs> Take a look around and see. Oh shit, oh there he is. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's about as clowning as they can make a freaking DS game character. Honestly. <laughs> so, uh, alright, I guess, uh... That is something that I can definitely do for uh, next time because holy crap, we are 43 minutes in this video. <laughs> yeah, that is true. That's been a while, hasn't it? But, uh, but like the le previous parts, uh, we have gotten a lot of progress here. Uh, got some items, uh, got money, got more whatever in my inventory. And, uh, Eat everything into submission in your path. And <laughs> your on your Kill every last one of them. Except you, okay, you look. <laughs> it's like you haven't played Azure Moon yet. Shut up. <laughs> no, I haven't. But I've heard of the cutscene, and all I can say on counter on, as my counter argument is Wyvern Lord Edelgard goes burr. Wyvern Lord Edelgard goes burr. Close, close counter Forge Killer Bow. <laughs> no need. That's right. That's right. Uh, what was it called? Raging Storm or something. <laughs> All right. Yeah, how can I murder your entire army in one turn? Yeah, I saw I saw a Three Houses video that said never let Edelgard enemy face you. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> All right. Um. So I think uh, this will cut it here for part three. Yeah, part three of uh, my Pokemon Platinum video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, but before we go, uh, Tyler, you said that. Possibly in the near future, when the conditions are right, you might start your own channel and have me on it? When I finally get around to setting some stuff up, sure. And uh, 
I will hopefully have you join me for some Fire Emblem content. Oh yeah, so, uh, because we'll have some wonderful discussions there. Oh, very wonderful discussions. Uh, he... For those of you who are watching Advance's channel for any Fire Emblem content, I shall inform you in advance that he and I have two very, very different mindsets. Very I think the slower the... player. I'm a little bit more of the uh, hyper aggressive. Players who likes to watch things go I think the closest similarity we have between the two two of us is that both of us really love Conquest. Yes. All hail Conquest. <laughs> Cast your stone was at me fire in the community. <laughs> I will stand on this hill until I die. It is the best game in the series. I guess I'm the right hand man that's standing slightly behind you and slightly lower uh, underneath that mountain. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. It's already getting pretty long, and I hope to see you guys next time. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Advanced Warrior. You can say your line. Oh, uh, thanks for having me on, uh, Advance. I uh, hope to join you again in the future. Uh, most definitely. And you, all of you guys have my warm regards. Take care.